I was so honored to be here at the Shaheed McIntyre dinner in New Hampshire. The energy in the room was amazing, standing up for reproductive rights, trans rights, standing up for survivors of gun violence, and I got to share my vision of economic patriotism. I'm gonna call for a hundred new factories in a hundred small towns. I read the North Carolina papers that a town called Canton had a paper mill recently closed after over 100 years. 4,400 people in the town. Guess how many folks worked at this paper mill? 900. The majority of people that works in a paper mill were local. It's gonna be devastating to the economy in Western North Carolina. Under FDR's leadership, Democrats built America's industrial base in factory towns and rural communities across our nation. And Democrats can do it again. We can build modern, clean factories with good union jobs in places like Canton. The women led the industrialization and we've got to get women doing it again with childcare, with Medicare for all. You know what we had back then? when the women ensured that we had twice the output of Japan and Germany, we had universal childcare. We had over 3,000 federally subsidized childcare centers. They were called war nurseries because the government figured out that what can we do if the women are running the factories? Who's going to look after the kids? If we could provide universal child care in this country in the 1940s, we can provide universal child care in the year 2023. You, in your being, kind of, kind of bridge this divide in the Democratic Party between sort of the, the high-level elite educated folks and also coming from a place that's so working class and blue collar. It's probably the best description of what, my, what I aspire to do. These economic projects can give our nation a common purpose. I saw this again when I was on tour with Google, setting up tech jobs programs at eight community colleges, HBCUs. The students receive a $5,000 stipend and a credential at the end of 18 months that leads to a job not just in software, but in manufacturing, retail, or healthcare. The tech credential doubled their salaries. I met a trans woman in rural Pennsylvania who said the program gave her a safe space. Young black entrepreneurs with huge ambition and dreams. Moms in their 40s in Iowa eager to return to the workforce. And I thought, what a beautiful thing. This next generation learning, working, prospering together without all the baggage of the past. You see, I still believe in America. I still believe that in our lifetime, we can do what no society has ever done, and that is to become a cohesive, multiracial, multiethnic democracy.